Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. What we'll be doing today guys, it will relate to any vehicle, any car with airbag system. We will guys discuss in today's video what is the most common reason why your airbag light will be on guys. Just one reason today guys, this is the most common one. I would say probably 7 out of 10 cars that the airbag light is on, it's due to that reason guys and we'll explain why. Stay with us until the end to see uh, how we're going to do that, if uh, replacing that uh, will fix the problem and what you can expect and what computer we'll be using for the test. Now, quick introduction guys, we have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment below guys if you have any specific questions or any specific problems. So that way guys we know what video to make next. Let's start on it now. So we have that 2010 Mazda guys and the airbag light is on, what we will be using here guys, Maxicom, you can find the link listed in the description of the video below and see where we got it from. This works on any car, okay, any car pretty much guys, and uh, it's amazing guys, that thing can pay itself off in one time use. You need to find your OBD connector, okay, ours is right there under the steering wheel, connect it guys, and I'll explain what we will be doing next. So, let me show you now. I'll go ahead and start the car quick guys and I want to show you how the airbag light blinks, stays on and uh, it just doesn't go away. At first it will go away, then it will blink and after a few seconds, minutes guys, okay, it's going to stay on just all the time, okay, it will just stay on. So as you can see, that's what's happening, it just doesn't go away. Now I'll go ahead guys, I'm going to go ahead, turn the engine off and we'll just turn the ignition on only. Okay, like that. Now, this is guys Maxicom, and as I said, it works on any car. Let me show you the makes that it supports. Okay, this thing is amazing pretty much, guys. It can even work on Lamborghinis, how crazy that is. Okay, and what I usually do, I click VIN number, auto detect. It's going to read the VIN number of the vehicle, and it's going to automatically, okay, decode it and tell us which vehicle we have. Uh, if that function doesn't work for your vehicle, you have to manually select it, which is super simple too, but if the computer does it for me, why to do it, right? So, okay, this is a 2010 Mazda CX-7 with a 2.3 engine. It may ask you a few questions in the meantime. BSM, in our case, it's blind, spot monitor, it's not fitted. We do not have advanced keyless entry. And from that point on, it's just loading, guys, it's loading. And the airbag light, okay, you can see it's still blinking, blinking, and then all of a sudden it will just stay on all the time. Now, we need to select control unit. Under control unit, we need to select RCM for that Mazda, it's the airbag module. Usually you will have guys a picture. Sometimes it could be called airbag computer, airbag module. It could be called SRS. So it really depends, guys. Next, we will read codes, guys. Okay, and from that point on, our airbag light just stays on all the time. Check it out, after about a minute. Okay, and it's establishing communication, and the codes that we have, guys, relate to occupant classification system, all of them. What that means, guys? Okay, on the passenger side of every modern vehicle, guys, that is equipped with airbag system, you have a sensor that detects how heavy the person is. And if that sensor is bad, guys, your airbag light will be on. That sensor is there guys, it tells the computer how heavy the person is, so it knows whether to turn the passenger airbag on or off, okay. And if that sensor guys is no good, okay, what will happen, the airbag will be inactive there and also guys, in addition, uh, you will get airbag light on. Some vehicles may differ, it really depends, but you will get airbag light on, guys, if that sensor is defective and not working correctly. And with the help of this computer, you can actually go ahead even and test it under live data. It's going to load and give us a few options here. Okay, right here it says, right here, kilograms, that's for the sensor, OCS, sensor occupant system, negative 128 kilograms, that's like, 200 and negative 270 pounds, it says fault. So we'll go ahead, replace ours, check the connectors under the seat, that's sometimes the case to lose connector could cause that, and we'll see if it fixes the problem now. So, we already replaced ours, what I'm going to do now, 
Okay, we are going to reconnect here because it was off for a long time. Now guys, okay, we are going to scroll down and you can see, okay, the system is actually working. So, I'm going to get a person now to come sit on the seat, okay, and to see if that is going to guys change now. Okay, you can see it says negative 2 kilograms, it says empty for the sensor, so let's sit now. Okay, we're going to sit down and check out what's going to happen. It detects the weight and it says large person and it activated the airbag, passenger airbag. So, that's the most common reason guys for the uh, airbag light being on, modern vehicle. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.